Hey everyone, I'm Uwa and welcome to my channel. So for anyone who's new here, I'm a medical student at the University of Nottingham. This is another video of my mini universe series, giving you some advice on uni based on my experience in first year. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking about underrated things that you should bring to university. I'm if you do enjoy the video, please leave a like and also subscribe to my channel if you don't miss out on the rest of my videos in this series. And um, turn on post notifications. <laughs> Let's go on with it. So I've watched different videos and just made a list of different stuff and also included things based on what I took that I feel like aren't really talked about enough but were really useful. So yeah, I hope this video is useful. <laughs> the first thing isn't underrated, it just doesn't get spoken about a lot, but it is kind of a given, it goes without saying, and that's a portable speaker. Having a portable speaker means that you're always just going to bring the vibe, whether you're just going to chill on a field, or you're having pre's, or an afters, or chilling in your room with friends. Having that speaker there just really does change the mood, and if it's your speaker, you're in control of the music, and whatever you say goes. It doesn't have to be like a really expensive one, I've just got like a Soundcard mini one from Amazon, um, and that one is great. I've used it when I've hosted. Another thing that no one said in a video but was actually really popular this year, especially with like no clubs being open and lockdown, was um, like disco lights or just some sort of like mood lights and party lights. So a lot of people had those starry ones, but I had like proper disco lights with a strobe effect and everything. And that was just great. Like when I'd host in my kitchen, we do things as a flat. I know some people who had smoke machines, but that was just doing the most. My disc lights were something like 15 quid from Amazon and I'll be an M sell some as well. Another thing that I would recommend that you bring with you to university is a coffee cup or a flask, a reusable one. So I bought one for the aesthetics because I don't drink coffee. I don't even drink tea, but I bought one just like to add to my room and yeah. It doesn't make sense. I don't know why I bought it, but it actually did come in handy sometimes. Um, I'd use it as a cup. I watched Ella May Horton's video before making this one. But I'll probably link it below. And the things she said, I really agreed with. So I'm going to echo them. She said that like when you do go out to coffee shops, it makes it cheaper using your reusable flask to get coffee from the coffee shop rather than like getting one from there. Or you can even make yourself a coffee in your flat or at home before you go out to a seminar or a lecture if you are in person and save some money on that. Another thing you should bring with you to uni is glass cups. I only brought two glass cups for me to uni and they were like tiny ones. They weren't even like half pints. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know why I did that. That's why I ended up using my coffee flask as a cup because it was so much bigger um, than the two little tiny glasses I brought. It's something else which I had surplus amounts of is plastic cups. So these are really good for like hosting and stuff when you have people in your flat, at pre's or at afters, or just sometimes if you couldn't bother washing up, have a plastic cup. And I know it's not good for the environment, but as a student, if you're a bit lazy, it does make life a little bit easier. Just use it and then bin it. The next thing that I highly recommend that you bring with you to university is stationery. There's more to uni than just partying and going out. Even if you're a paperless student, which I was, still bring stationery with you. I brought stationery with me. Up until May, I didn't use my stationery. I hardly touched paper. When it came to my exam season and I found that I was able to learn a lot of the material well by sticking it on my wall. It came in really handy having the post notes there, having pens to write with, having blue tack, things like that. There was even times in the year that I went to buy sellotape because I had no sellotape in my flat. All that stuff that you used in high school that you used to buy in bulk in year seven, bring it with you to university, you need it. So like I said, even if you're paperless, all my notes are on my iPad are on Quizlet or on Anki, but Having physical pen and paper really saved my life come May. This is something else that Ella said, which I hadn't really like deep that much. I just knew to do it because I've done it since college, but it's to make sure you're signed up to discount sites. So like your most popular ones are uni days and student beans, and they are always gonna save you money. If you are gonna like go out during the week for food or whatever, there are places which are doing like 30% off Sunday to Wednesday. Like for example, at Bella Italia. Like there's so many different opportunities to save money, but you won't know that if you aren't signed up to these student sites. Another thing is homey stuff. So these are things that are gonna make your uni room feel like home and just be really comfy and really cozy. I spent a lot of time at uni room this year because we had online lectures, online seminars, everything except for um, practical anatomy teachers, like dissections and osteology were all online and I work best 
on my own in my rooms. So that's where I just spent a lot of my time. So it was nice to make that a really cosy space. I had a photo wall of pictures of my best friends, my family, my uni friends, and then I had pictures of my family like just around the room. Just different things to make my room nice and cosy. And just a really nice space to chill and to relax in. I'm at home now in my sister's room filming this video, but I've got a full uni room tour video of both my first room um, and then the room that I moved into later on in the year. So I will link those below and also somewhere on the screen. Make it somewhere that you actually want to go to and somewhere that you actually want to relax. It's your own space. Next thing is underbed storage. The majority of rooms in halls do have underbed storage, whether it's just like a gap under the bed, or I've got those the divan beds, divian beds, the beds with like the storage underneath, or the drawers, or whatever. Make sure you have those like flat boxes to make things more organized um, under your bed. And also a lot of like storage solutions. I just had like boxes tucked away in places because there are storage spaces within your room, but there's not a lot. Another thing that you should definitely bring me to uni honestly i beg that you bring these things to uni with you are slides so i had two pairs of slides my outdoor ones that i'd wear when i'm going to the bins or something and then my indoor ones that i'd wear in my room and in the kitchen around the flat you do not want to be walking around barefoot or even in socks on uni floors they are dirty and they are disgusting unless you can guarantee that, that floor is absolutely sparkling clean you just don't want to do it not at all another thing is a drying rack i had a drying rack but i hardly ever used it and that's because i would just always do circuit laundry just after my washing i just always pay for drying but i did have a little one that i'd hang on my radiator and when i'd wash like a tea towel or whatever i'd hang it on that drying rack and that drying rack wasn't always out because it's so small because like took it away somewhere next thing whilst we're on the topic is washing up pods i bought four tubs i've not even gotten through one and like i definitely did my washing at uni but I also brought with me so many clothes and so much underwear that I could afford to do my washing every two weeks as opposed to every week so I didn't really get through that many washing pods that's another thing bring with you loads of underwear just to save on washing and it's like the tip your mum would give you but it just makes sense if you bring with you enough clothes enough underwear you aren't going to wash that frequently and then it just saves money on washing because washing does get expensive another bit of advice to do with washing as well is to actually bring washing up liquid I had a few friends who would hand wash bits every so often I'd hand wash like my kitchen towels like to dry them like once every week or once every other week so i got some um wash up liquid for that again on the topic bring with you cleaning stuff to uni you are not living your mum anymore it's time to pattern up and time to learn how to wash a toilet yes it's grim no one wants to do it but you have to be able to do it just have your bleach have your flash liquid your pink stuff your sift floor cleaner have all that stuff and use it so i would always clean my bathroom and it was nice to have a clean bathroom for like myself and also if anyone ever came around and occasionally i'd use my cleaning stuff in the kitchen like just to give it a quick clean down because we didn't have like a cleaner to tidy our kitchen or anything we had to do it ourselves i also had a hoover with me which i recommend you bring as well it was just nice to know that i was hoovering my room with a clean hoover instead of using the communal one in the kitchen which gets all sorts thrown in there another thing that i brought to uni which i recommend is a mop yes you are given a mop as well as a hoover in your accommodation but personally i wanted my own and i'd use that for my bathroom floor enough with all the mum stuff Oh, one more thing about mum stuff. Have room sprays and diffusers. A lot of the time when people come to my room, they'd be like, your room smells really nice, which I took as a really nice compliment. And um, that's because I had room sprays, I had diffusers, I had like little smelly pouches everywhere. You weren't allowed candles, so this is a good alternative. And I wouldn't recommend using those like plug-in diffusers because you have very few plugs in uni. So you gotta make sure you're using those, like your electrical, your charges, TV if you have that. Another thing, bring an extension cable with you to uni. There are not enough plugs. Okay, so this next thing is definitely something that wasn't talked about or I didn't hear about in any other video, but it's to bring meal prep tubs. I started meal prepping in like February and honestly, it's a game changer. It saves so much time and it saves so much money. I meal prep to meet certain macronutrient goals like each day. But even if you aren't doing for that reason, like I said, it's going to save you money and it's going to save you time. It ensures that you're always eating something proper as well. Even if you want to get a takeaway so nice, you can just pop whatever you meal prep to the freezer and have it the week after or have it another night. I've been asked so many times to do a video on meal prep and I will do it at some point. Just, just hang fire. Something else you should bring me to uni are baking stuff. Not everyone's gonna bake at uni, but 
when you do bake at uni, it's so fun. I've got a baking me video, go watch that. So I did that baking video on my own, but other times you know when I baked, I do it with friends, and it's just really, really fun. Like, baking with friends at uni is so underrated. Final things to bring you to uni are hangers, because the wardrobe is tiny so you want to hang up as much as you can there's just not enough space to fold things and the drawers you have enough space to be closing and then like hooks like your coats any bags i had one with like a set of eight and just put it over the door and then one final thing a lot of older accommodations might not already have this but newer ones definitely will and that's a mirror if you haven't got one just go and buy one that hangs over a door that's the end of the video and those are some underrated things to bring you to uni just a few essentials if i've missed anything out and there's something that you brought with you or you know someone else is bringing make sure you comment below to help other people out thank you guys for watching don't forget about my mini series where i'll be giving university advice based on my experience so far subscribe so you don't miss out on that and also turn on post notifications if you enjoyed this video please leave it a like i really appreciate that and I will see you in my next video. <laughs>